Tuesday evening, Jennifer Strahan, congressional candidate for the Georgia 14th District, held a meet and greet at the Cusa Country Club to get to know and speak with voters in the Rome Floyd community. Our district is too important. It's more than just media antics and Twitter posts. It's time to put Georgia first. You can't change Washington unless you change who you send there. So as a conservative Christian, I am far from perfect. I'll set that expectation. Uh, but I do genuinely strive every day to live my values, live my faith, set a strong example for my son and for others. Um, I'm also a strong supporter of President Trump's policies. I feel that his policies, especially his tax cuts that had our economy firing on all cylinders before the pandemic, we need to send someone to Washington who can promote and protect those policies. I got an opportunity to interview Mrs. Strahan more about her background and congressional campaign. Uh, my name is Jennifer Strahan. I am not a politician, but I am a small business owner. Both my husband and I are actually both small business owners, and I do a lot of work with hospitals and health systems around efficiency, effectiveness, um, connecting you know, top-line strategy to front-line operations. So at the end of the day, if you say you're going to do something, can you actually make sure you're getting it done? <laughs> Which that would be a great skill set that certainly translates to Congress. And um, I'm also an assistant professor. I teach in business school. My husband, I mentioned, is a small business owner, but he's far more talented than I am. He's a craftsman, so he builds custom furniture, cabinetry, does redesign work. And we have a little boy who's in kindergarten, and he's obviously a major reason as to why I'm running. I feel like we have a lot of serious issues going on today that we need to be able to address and we need to be able to have an effective voice in in our district for our district to push back on some of these very progressive policies that are coming coming down from the current administration i would say one of the biggest things is that i want to serve to me i think somehow we've lost sight of the fact that you know politicians are actually public servants they are here to serve they are not here to be celebrities and i want to make sure that we have a voice in some of these very very important issues. So the current administration is infringing on our constitutional freedoms. They're threatening our jobs. We have significant problems. We need to have a voice to push back against, again, these very progressive uh, agenda and policies that are, that are coming down. And currently we don't have that with our current representative. So she's not on a single committee, which means by the very virtue of that, that our district doesn't have a voice to push back on these. I, I feel like our Christian values are being attacked. I feel like our constitutional freedoms are being attacked. And we need a representative who is going to fight for us in a way that brings results back to the district. You know, it's not about just being loud. It's really about being effective. And we need to hold our leaders accountable to get results. And that's why I'm running, is to make sure that you know, the America that I know and love is the same America that my son gets to grow up as, as he grows up, that he gets to know and love as well. We have a wonderful district. We have so many pockets of really great communities, and we need to highlight those. We have a lot of really neat things going on across our communities that we can share. We need to get our economy back on track. You know, we have issues with small businesses. Small biz businesses are the backbone of our economy and of our communities. We need to support them. We've got supply chain issues. You know, people feel the issues with inflation and they feel that every day at the gas pump, at the grocery store, at Lowe's or Home Depot. You know, these are real issues that people are hurting. And at the end of the day, we need to make sure that we are bringing results back to the district. Infrastructure and transportation is another area that people have brought up. Small businesses, again, hurting. Uh, you know, these are things that we need to take. We need less government, not more government. And we need to make sure that what we're doing is we're serving constituents so that the, serv the uh, services that they've earned, right, veteran services, Medicare, Social Security, that they have access to that and that it's sustainable so that they can they can get those services when they need them. We need a serious representative who's here to serve. Uh, we need people to get out and vote. So May 24th is our primary. we we'll would be honored to earn people's vote, and I will not only earn their vote today and on May 24th, but every day after that as well in office. Reporting for WRGA News, I'm Ethan Garrett.